All right. So we have officially saved Zelda and the world is safe now. All we have to do is fight soldiers and go to palaces or something like that. Who you get to see the nice riches of the palaces? That's crazy. Bougie, dude. So we're gonna carry a sign around. It's a sign, guys. <laughs> it's a sign. Times are a change. <laughs> I got the sign right here. <laughs> so cringe, dude. Okay. Alright. Hello! Hello, old lady. Who? Oh, it's you! What can I do for you, young man? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. Uh, what? Master Sword? I don't really... I don't remember the details exactly. But, I to go of prosperous people known as the highly inhabited... Prosperous people known as the Hylia inha- Hylians, you mean? Inhabited this land. Legend tells of many treasures that the Hylians hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those who, with evil hearts, is one of them. People say that now it sleeps deep in the forest. Do you understand the legend? Not at all. Dang, the text doesn't look blue at all in the recording. That's crazy. Uh, it's so unsaturated. Maybe it is saturated. I don't know. But, there must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Yoshi. Yeah, you see now, when I first played this game, this got me stumped because, like, yeah, I didn't read the text, the, the flavor text all too much, and I was just like, Adventure! It's time to go! We don't have time to listen to people spiel on and on and on with their bleeding hearts. We have battle! And so I didn't know where I needed to go. Um, but yeah, there's a very simple solution to this problem. I must simply just talk to villagers. That's, that's what I have to do. Okay, so that goes down. Uh, let's see here. How do I solve this? Okay. This goes down. Okay. I think... Uh... Yeah, I push this this way, I grab this, then I push down, right, down, right, boom. I am problem solver. <laughs> I've totally done this before, <laughs> why did I have such a struggle? I don't know, this is one of those puzzles that never sits in my mind, I guess. Anyway. We are going to go talk to a nice little salesman over here. He is going to offer us a bottle for the generous price of a hundred rupees. <laughs> now you might be saying a hundred rupees? What is the exchange rate? That's just a bottle. <laughs> it's a magical bottle. <laughs> First and foremost, you silly little man <laughs> or woman or whoever you are, it's a magical bottle. <laughs> Therefore, it has an increased price. <laughs> Alright, hello, random child. Hi, Yosh, Elder. Are you talking about the grandpa? Oh, okay, but, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. Tight in the palace past the castle. Aren't the small on your map? Here you are. I don't need no map. I have a pictographic memory of the whole entire map in my head. Except I don't know where all the hard pieces are, which is good. This is a magic ball. You can store an item inside and then use it later. Sorry, Mr. Cuckoo. That was an accident. I did not mean to hit you. Anyway, we are going to go into, I think it's this building. And there is this poor sick child. I can't go out because I'm sick. Cough, cough. People say I caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down off the mountain. Sniff, sniff. This is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now, I'll lend it to you. Thanks, buddy! You borrowed the bug catching net. There may be some other things you can catch with it, too. You're not getting this back, kid. <laughs> See you later! <laughs> it's mine now. You can't have it back. There's no take-backsies here. This is my net. Period. Oh, hello, random sir. 
this is not the room I was going to go to. I was going to go into a house that has a picture of Mario in it. I believe it's this one. And then we can just grab onto this picture and yoink! Money! I'm rich! Alright. So now... Now we're done with all the fun and games, guys. We gotta hunker down, alright? No more side quests. No more messing around. This is exclusively main story time, alright? Oh, hey, look, a chicken. <laughs> Just kidding. There's nothing up there. Oh, hey, look, a side quest! You fools. You fools. I really fooled you there, didn't I, Fox? Didn't I? Didn't I? I got you good, Fox. I know I did. Now we can't get our next bottle, unfortunately, because bottles are very precious items and we must have all the bottles, right? Yeah, we can't get our next bottle yet because we need our flippers and we can't get our flippers until we're rich because apparently in this world you just have to be rich to have anything. The ability to swim? Yeah, sorry buddy, it's uh, behind a paywall. If you have to pay for it, you need money. You think you can just afford the ability to swim just by being a, 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 a hero of time or the, the hero of adventure? Psh, nah, dude. <laughs> you need flippers. You need flippers to swim, but that costs you 500 rupees, buddy. Better start saving. All right, now let's go see Sahashla. The Hashrala, I know you're in this building. Hello, Sahashrala. Hello. I am indeed Sahashrala. <laughs> Such a funny name. <laughs> I love this guy's name. Sahashrala. The, vil the village elder and a descendant of the seven wise men. Oh, really? Yosh, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Does anyone can that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield this. Do you really want to find it? Yes. Good. As a test, can you retreat the pendant of courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go forward to the palace. You got bombs in here? Of course you don't. Useless. You're useless to me, Sahashala. Did absolutely nothing for me. Hello? Ooh, arrow. Ew. Oh, look at that. We can jump off ledges now, guys. Wow, this is great. I I'm sure, like, when this game came out, everybody was just like, DUDE! Yo, you can jump off ledges now in Legend of Zelda! That's great! It's crazy. Oh, this is a good game. This is a good game. And it's more or open world-esque too. You don't like go through little boxy areas and then go through a loading screen. Uh, don't need to do that. Don't need to go through those two doors though. Two, those two doors are useless. Oop. Money, nice. Well, welcome to the Eastern Palace where they have rolling balls that want to kill you. They kind of suck at their job, let me be honest. Just casually went, like, right through it. There was no pause there. Hey look, we're richer! We have 228 already! <laughs> we're rich. And you know what that means, Fox. Just kidding, I'm not spending it. We're saving. We are saving. For once in my life, I'm actually saving money. What? Who are you and what have you done with the captain I know? <laughs> he spends all his money. I know I'm a horrible, horrible individual. How dare I not spend my money? Dump all you want, you're not getting away from me, Mr. Skelly Boys. I don't think there's anything in this corner. I don't know why I'm exploring it. I think it's just the map. You got the map! It's a map! You can look at the map now! 
What is the map? Well, it, 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 it shows you the layout of the dungeon. It doesn't really show you where you are on the dungeon, though. You have to figure that one out by yourself. Or you can get a compass. Oh. Ah. Alright, now you guys need to understand something real clear here. This is why pots are the most broken wood. Like, it takes me like three or four slices to take these guys out. Pots? No. No. No, this is, this is, this is a walk in the park for pots, dude. Boom. Just freaking take it out. Oh, hey, look, a compass. That's crazy. It's almost as if it's the first dungeon or something, and I can't not find these things. Oh yeah, I think the compass also allows me to see. Yo, it is I, Sahashala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these types. Here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Wow! That's unique. Guess what else I can do? Yoink. <laughs> I can just throw a pot at them. That's insane! <laughs> Have I been running this gag on a bit long? What do you guys think? Have I, have, I, have I run it a bit strong now? The whole just throw a pot at it solution? Because guess what? It's, 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 it's here to stay. We like pots here. We throw pots. About to say you can chase me, Jinxes, but you won't catch me. But you know what I did? A little freaking weird tangle gel jelly thing. I don't I think this is like this game's iteration of a choo choo, I'm gonna be honest. Hello. Bonk. Bonk. First, that's fine. You got a big key. And now guess what I can do? Big keys double as big chest openers. So we can go open that big chest that was in the other room that I didn't bother to open. You guys are probably wondering why the heck I didn't get loot the chest. This is why. Now we can loot the chest. You found the bow. Wow. I'm going to ignore all these guys. They throw their heads at me, and I don't really like that. So, I'm going to get ahead of the situation. <laughs> I know I'm cringe. You don't have to tell me. Oh, we'll see. I meant to catch it with my bug catching net, but apparently I am capable of catching bug catching net. Even though these fairies are not bugs. Um, got them. Yes, keep. Alright, moving on. Now we have the inability of dying. We should never die now, because we have two fairies. Oh, pressing A button, there's an A button is a thing for that. It's the Y button in this game, and that's it. That's, that's gonna probably continue to throw me off the whole entire time. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah. We're not gonna go through that door just yet because we need money. It's mine. And guess where you can get money? In here! <laughs> money! <laughs> it's almost as if they just laid it out for me to collect it. Weird! Touch me. Don't touch me. I don't like being touched, Jinxes. Alright, got this guy. Bonk. Missed. Bonk. Take a pot. Okay. Hey! Peekaboo again. Bonk. Yeah, I totally didn't know which switch that was, guys. I have no idea, man. 
completely clueless. That was just a random guess. Look at how good I am. Look at how lucky I am. I just randomly guessed that. Oh man, dude. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Red ruby for my chocolate. Take that. Hey, peekaboo. Fall back asleep, mate. Boom, boom. Got 26 arrows left, but perfectly good. Hello, first boss. All right, there is one secret goal to handling this boss. And that is to just fire away. <laughs> How hard could it be? Am I right? Um, anyway, the other secret is to kind of, like, weaken the last two to the point to where, like, when it becomes enraged, because it'll become enraged, it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy boss. I don't weaken it enough, but it's bonk. And we catch the pendant. It's delicate, okay? We can't let it touch the ground, it'll crack! All over the floor, dude. It'd be a crying shame if the pendant just broke before I got just hot for the hot for the